that's why we just have new details into our newsroom. First of all, this is the house where it all happened. Detectives telling us that there were two shooters involved. One had a high powered rifle and was shooting from the roof. The other was firing back. We also have this picture just into our newsroom of two people that were killed. You are looking at 18 year old Josue Aguilar and 20 year old Maximo Aguilar. Bang, 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 bang. She says there was about 20 shots. A ring doorbell captured the sound, and surveillance cameras captured the images of a terrifying scene as a gunman opened fire with an assault rifle from a roof. That alarmed neighbors. It started out just a couple of shots. You know, I said, that's gunshots. It's a lot different than firecrackers. And then it really started going. It was 4.45 p.m. As the gunman was firing, surveillance video shows someone crawling on the ground as another hides behind a car door. They were pointing at that house right there where they said they beat somebody was on top of the roof. You see another man running in a blue hoodie. Police say two groups met here to finish a fight that they'd started earlier in the week. This time, the gunman opened fire, unleashing a barrage of bullets, killing two people and injuring two others. One was in critical condition. They set a trap for him. I mean, that's, that's what you do in a war zone. You know, you set up an ambush. Detectives say it appears someone else returned fire. Now police are looking for the person who killed two men. And again, here is another look at those two people that were killed. Josue and Maximo Aguilar were also told that um, another person, Julio, who is 23 years old, Julio is in ICU. Also, Josue Aguilar's girlfriend, Annabelle, was also shot. And uh, according to the family, Josue and Annabelle both were seniors at North Shore High School. Again, all this information coming into our newsroom. We'll have a complete update for you coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. And also wanting to let you know that investigators tell us they are looking for at least two suspects and possibly more. And they are also looking for a black Chevy Tahoe that was seen in this area. If you have any information, you're asked to call police. Reporting live from the east side, Marla Carter, 13 Eyewitness News. Hard to believe those details and that video. Marla, thanks.